Hi there! Glad to have you back on My English Space. Today we'll keep it simple as we're gonna be doing past simple together. All I'm asking is your attention and in no time you'll end up telling me all about what you did yesterday, last weekend or hmm, who knows, maybe even two months ago. Good, so if you want to know how to pronounce correctly those ED endings of regular verbs, then keep watching. This video is for you. Also, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon down below so you never miss a video. To kick off, I'll tell you a story. So, lean back and be all yours. You'll have to listen for all those verbs ending in ed, also called regular past verbs. They're not pronounced as you write them. This ed ending is pronounced either d, d, t, t, or id, id. So there are three ways to pronounce this ed ending. So be very, very careful. Let's see if when I'm over, we have the same number of ed regular verbs. So ready, steady, go! Summer is gone. Last week, schools opened their gates and welcomed their students. They all talked and laughed. Being back was amazing. Autumn arrived at the festivity as charming as ever. After she finished her speech, she looked up. There she was, summer in person. I stopped by to say hello. She waved her hand gently. How nice of you. Did you miss us? Autumn asked. Summer wanted to hide her tears. Instead, she replied, I enjoyed every minute together. She smiled. Didn't you wait your turn? You know how that feels. I sure did. I counted the days until I could come. Summer stepped back and admitted. It's all my fault. Yesterday, I didn't plan to shine so bright. So long, my dears. She struggled not to cry and headed out. Phew. I must admit it took me a while to compose this story. Still, I'm very pleased with the result. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really think we should allow ourselves to be carried away into the land of the stories more often. Have you managed to count all those ED verbs? Let's see, there are 19 in all. Yes, because they are split into three categories depending on the way we pronounce them. In writing, it's true, they all take ED. But this is pronounced in three different ways. D, D, T, T, and ED, which creates an extra syllable. ED. Good. Now let's look at each of them. The first one, D, D, opened. Opened, welcomed, welcomed, arrived, arrived, waved, waved, replied, replied, enjoyed, enjoyed. Smiled, smiled, struggled, struggled, to sound, 
to. Now let's look at the verbs in the order of appearance. Talked, talked, laughed, laughed. Do you hear that t sound? Yeah? Good. Finished, finished, looked, looked, stopped, stopped. Asked, asked, stepped, stepped. Our last category is id syllable. Id. This is a voiced syllable and it has to be pronounced. We hear it very clearly. And it happens so because of the sound at the end of the proper verb. Like in want, for example. Want already ends in t sound, so we couldn't pronounce it want or wanted. Yeah? That's why a new, an extra syllable is added, yeah, to the end of the verb. To make the past simple. So let's see. Wanted. Wanted. Yeah, do you hear that ending? That id. Yeah. Next, we have counted. Counted. And admitted. Admitted. And last, we had headed. Headed. Well done, you're doing great. Let's take a look at the form that the regular verbs take in their past symbol. Affirmative. We have subject and verb and the ed ending. It's that easy. And the example in our story was, last week schools opened their gates. See? Opened is the verb in the affirmative form. To mark the time, we use keywords such as last plus time unit. Like here, we have last week. Yeah? So, last week. That was in the past, right? So, not this week, but last week. The week before. For the negative form, we have subject plus didn't plus verb in its base form and didn't is the short for did not the interrogative form did plus subject and verb did you miss us did you miss us in the story there's also a negative interrogative form yeah didn't you wait your turn? Didn't you wait your turn? As you can see, we've got didn't. So again, did, yeah, uh, in the first place, but in the negative form, plus subject and verb. So the negative and the interrogative forms are combined in this form. Good. Now let's talk a little bit about the keywords to be used with past simple. So, the past simple markers or those words expressing the time are, as I mentioned before, last plus time unit, yeah, yesterday, and there's one more, that is the word ago, but this time ago is used at the end of the phrase, like in two days ago. So, unlike last, we have to use the time unit first and then ago. An example here would be, she emailed me two weeks ago. She emailed me two weeks ago. So, the action happened in the past two weeks ago. Finally, we're done. But please, don't go. Let's not forget about homework. 
Besides practicing your pronunciation by repeating all of these verb endings, to, d, and eat, please do tell me in the comments what you did yesterday in no more than, say, three or four sentences. Yeah, thanks for joining me today. I hope this lesson was useful for you and please make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again the next time. Bye for now.